that I'm experiencing so far is true adventure. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Issa Abroad where I take you on my journey to England as I'm studying abroad and away from my twin unfortunately. But don't worry guys, we're still in contact because twin telepathy. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Isa Winek, aka Isa Warrior Girl, and I aspire to do the most impossible things and awaken the warrior within to truly become the best version of myself, no matter how small or innocent I look. I'm an aspiring film and television actress, as well as a passionate stage combatant and martial artist who just wishes to gauge herself and truly yeah, possibly become a superhero. Well, we could say my horizons are far and the waters are still deep, but until then, I'll keep you guys updated on my journey and cool projects that I do. Nevertheless, I digress back to England. So I really want to update you on my journey and my first official week here. Simply put, it's very different than America. I wouldn't say that living in America or living in England is better or worse. It's just simply different because it's hard to tell. Based on just what I was used to in America, living in Europe, I see just there's so much history, so much architecture, custom, tradition that is so rich because it's evolved over thousands and thousands of years. And even when you're walking around the city, you can almost like strangely feel the presence and the significance. Now, I don't want to sound weird, but it's just very interesting in my opinion because there's almost like a depth, like this other world that there's still yet to discover. And that's what I think is very interesting about my travels so far is that because I'm going to be here for a longer duration, I could really have a true opinion about this experience, about gauging in this culture and really learning from its people. In the meantime, I would like to update you and let you know what I'm learning, how I'm evolving, how I'm engaging with this warrior within. So today in particular, I wanted to take you around Newcastle and just show you what I see on a pretty much daily basis. And what I personally find most fascinating, at least through my experiences so far in England, is that they take their culture and their old tradition, even like their ancient monuments, history that's been long there, and they embrace it in a beautiful way that can be really appreciated by the generations to come. And honestly, as a young person who's just coming into England, who's just curious and wants to look around, I feel this greater deference towards the English culture because of how it embraces its ancient ways and its roots. I could go on and on, but for me, this is just awesome. Nevertheless, why don't I just take you along? Why don't you see for yourself? <gasps> and hello again, my friends. I am right outside my accommodation, Garth Heads. If you want to take a look, oh my, I'm just captivated by how historical and almost Hogwarts-like it looks. So what I like in particular about my historical, magical accommodation, we have a mini castle of our own. A mini castle in Newcastle. How fitting. Market, and it's funny to see because it's only four o'clock and it's already getting dark outside and especially during the winter in Europe the days are very short which is something that I'm not used to but I will have to start getting used to well here it is I have finally found one a telephone box Authentic English one with a, oh no, it's a McDonald's ad, but oh well. So right now I'm walking through Northumberland Street, which is bustling with people even though it's dark and it's really nice. And there's so many different shops and buildings and monuments. I'm just so excited to explore, even though it's slightly cold. It's interesting to see 
how Newcastle is still busy with people. It's very active. There's so many things going around. There's still shops open, even though it's dark. Oh wow, isn't this just very fitting from New York to Newcastle? <laughs> So I'm walking back now to my flat and even though it's active and bustling, it's still like dark and mysterious. Oh dear. Oh my, it feels like any moment Sherlock Holmes is going to jump out and something exciting is going to happen. Oh, it's just there's this like deeper magic and beauty that um, you don't necessarily get in America because it's a different culture. But here it's just like the history somewhat stays. It's like, oh my, it makes me feel it makes you feel so curious, so adventurous. Oh my, what can we find over here? Oh my. It's like a dark and spooky, but like magical almost tunnel. So that was my adventurous day of gauging Newcastle and seeing as much as I can, even though there's so much more to see. I walked around a lot. I have really enjoyed myself. I had a great time exploring and just going around this very unique, cozy, but adventurous and novel city. If you did indeed enjoy this vlog, please leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when my next adventure, next interesting video does pop up. I had a great time walking around today and I had a great time exploring. And please let me know if you also enjoyed this content or if you'd like to see anything in particular, please comment down below. I would love to see your own ideas. And if you have any particular questions about my endeavors, my life, or what does it mean to be Issa Warrior Girl. But to stray away from this existential philosophy, have a great day, guys. Please enjoy. I hope this vlog somewhat added to your day in a fun and adventurous way. Please share this video if you find that your friends or family members would find it interesting. And as always, stay awesome, stay adventurous, keep exploring, and just be your best self. So, have a great one, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye.